Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Southern Balance. Uh, today I'm going to build a birdhouse on camera. I'm going to show you all the steps that I'm going to go through. I'm going to incorporate a lot of brand new techniques that you've probably never seen before. Uh, I will tell you about two weeks ago I made my first birdhouse. I even created a video showing you what I did. Uh, unfortunately my uh, building skills outweigh my filming skills. <laughs> so my, my video did not turn out. However, the ending did turn out. So after this video is over, and after I show you what we're gonna build on camera, at the end, I'm gonna include the other ending so you can see all the other birdhouses that I built. So even though the ending will sort of be duplicated, it's worth watching so you just so you can see all the other birdhouses. And uh, since that time, I've already taken them to my shop and I've sold about four of them already. So the builds are gonna be successful. Um, I'm also asking you to follow along. I'll always make something out of nothing. I'll always walk you through all of the steps and stages and details and uh, hopefully give you some brand new ideas. So uh, as for now, what you're going to need is a minimum of three fence pickets. So I'm going to show you what we're starting with. Okay, so we're going to start with these three fence pickets. They're just individual pickets. You can see uh, what I did yesterday was I glued them up. So here's the three that I glued together. Okay, um, this is all just for, to save time. So I glued them up. So you see that. And after I glued them up, I measured the halfway point and I, uh, I cut them in half. So there's actually there's actually two two stacks here. There's a top and a bottom. So we're going to start on this right here. All right, guys. So we've already drawn our pattern on here. I've already cut these off. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. And I've already cut these side pieces off. You know, I had one that was here. I had one that was here. Uh, we're going to cut this middle out. We're going to taper the sides. And we'll just take it from that point. guys now that we've got this cut out and tapered my camera went off in the middle of filming sorry about that I've already did my 45 degree angles I've cut this out we're gonna sand this out just a little bit with these filing sticks I'm just gonna give it a little bit of taper in there like that all right guys after we've cut this out file this we're gonna flame it a little bit just to make it black all right guys now that we've got this all cut out now we're going to separate the pieces So after we've uh, drilled these holes, we're going to clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to sand around here just a little bit more. Okay, we're going to flame these. Okay, so after we've kind of scorched the inside, we're, we're going to come back, we're going to kind of sand that off a little bit. Pretty simple. Okay. Now, we're going to cut some screens for these. Alright guys, we're going to take some chicken wire. We're going to take just something to put it down. This is a three and a half inch hole saw. We're just going to put it on here just so we can mark a circle around it. We're going to cut that circle out, just use some regular wire cutters. And there's one. Alright guys, so after we've cut our circles, you can see that, we're going to put the screen on here like this. Okay, and then we're going to put our ring around that. It's going to be like that. 
And the same thing on this side. All right, so we're gonna put glue inside the seam since we made a seam there. We're just gonna put glue inside and then we're gonna put glue on the bottom like that. Okay, doesn't matter if you're a little sloppy on that. Just put that on top. Here. Okay. Okay. Now that we, now that we've done the venting, now we're gonna we're gonna put this one to the side. We're gonna pull the other one over here. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna play with the stitching in here. So we're gonna get busy with that. Okay, guys. What you're gonna need is just some copper wire. This is just electrical wire. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take maybe like three inches of that, and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these three inches, and we're just gonna cut. That's all we're gonna do. So it's gonna be about every about every three inches or so like that. And we're just gonna cut. Okay, so you're gonna end up with this. So I'm gonna show you how to make one, then I'm gonna make all the rest of them off camera. Okay, so once we have one, I'm gonna take some pliers. I'm just looking at the flat spot in there and just sort of matching it up and like that, and then I'm just gonna bend it. Okay. Okay, so it's like a 90 degree angle. Then I'm gonna take it like that, put it about approximately the same place inside, hold my fingers on it, and make sure that my bend is straight, and do it again. Okay. So th this is what we're ending up with. So it's pretty simple, okay? So I'm, let me go make a whole bunch of these, and then we'll come back, and then we'll start doing the stitching in here. All right, so now I've got a plate full, okay? So we're just going to use these. So we're just going to just grab a couple that are the same size, because I made them all different sizes. So one that you have them the, the same size, we're just going to take them like this, okay? Decide where I want them to cross, like this. Once I see my spacing is correct, I'm just going to hammer it down just a little bit just to make a mark, okay? Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of glue. This is wood glue, by the way. I just put it inside of this container because I like the applicator it comes to a point so then we're just going to put it in there like that put that in there like that give that a tap okay pretty easy okay let's see where I want that one to cross going to continue going down. That's all it is. Alright guys, at this point in time we're going to figure out what we're going to do to decorate this thing. So, just got to play around with it, see what looks good.
<laughs> okay, so I've determined that I'm going to put the Texas here. We're going to mount this gas pipe like this. And I've decided that we're going to put this uh, hose bib, I think, on that side. Something like that. So anyway, one step at a time. So to drill the gas pipe out, I'm using a 11 uh, paddle bit. Okay guys, at this point in time, I've got these little things I always use for my jigs. Just gonna stand it up like that. All that's there for is just to hold it up. Pretty simple. Just gonna put that on there. Throw a clip on there just to hold everything in place. Um, all I did, I don't even know how long these are. All I did was measure the length of that in my uh, chop saw and I just cut two pieces the same width as that. So. We're just going to secure one of these on both sides. And we're going to do that with glue, actually. So we're going to put a little glue on there. Okay. Put it up against there. We're going to do both sides. And we're going to brad nail that in, but then we're going to screw it in. The brad nail is just to hold everything in place. Okay guys, sorry about <clears throat> all the changes. My camera keeps turning itself off. That's been, that's what my issue was the last time I uh, built a birdhouse like this for you on camera. The, my, my camera keeps turning off. I really don't know what the issue is, but uh, it's, it's spoiling all my videos. each one of those <clears throat> I like to use two inch screws they go inside kind of adds to the stability These don't have to be like measured because you're not going to see them. There's going to be some trim that goes on here. I like to take the plain Phillips. I just kind of ring the hole a little bit. Uh, countersink, I should say. Just like that. Okay. So 
so that brings stability to the bottom so we just have this uh, we have this jig in there holding it stable and steady just until we build out the top but that's just this is just in there temporarily okay, okay. so we're gonna work on the bottom all right guys uh, I've already cut a couple of these that's this length we're going to put one in the middle and we're going to split the difference down here. So just to know what those are, we're going to measure the distance between here and here. That's approximately six and three eighths. So we're going to cut uh, two pieces, half that length. So let's do that now. Okay, so here's our original piece of wood. We've got two pieces that are approximately three and an eighth of, and an, eighth of an inch. So we're going to put it on here like this. We're going to make this one and this one permanent the middle one is going to be the removable one for like once a year clean out so let's let's mount that on there now This one is the ring of the floor. I'm trying to leave a gap on both sides so it'll always be uh, an easy fit for the customer. There you go, that takes care of the bottom. So this part sort of complicated but not complicated at the same time so I've already cut my angle on here the, no, nothing here is mounted but I'm going to mount only one side so I'm not even going to worry about the back that's just kind of there supporting that all we're going to do put a little bit of glue here okay. all my birdhouses that I've made so far they've all been glued up everything okay. Brad now holds it in place and then the glue dries. It becomes very solid. Very, very solid. Okay. So all we're gonna do is put a brad nail in there just to hold it together. We'll come back, we'll add more brad nails. But this is just that's just to hold it in place. So then we're just gonna take some different pieces. Some I already have cut, some I have to cut. We're just going to line this up right here, and then draw a line, okay? So then I have to cut that down. Again, we're not worried about this, we're just dealing with the bottom part. Okay, so that, that's going to fit good, so we're going we're gonna to glue that, okay. and then we're going to brad nail that. we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to work our way down and then we're going to start on the other side. Alright guys, this is where we are now. We've kind of done the front, we've done the stitching. I've done this where it looks like it's been broken in two pieces. That's the inside. I went ahead and did the stitching on back when I was off camera. We have our vent holes. So now I'm going to end up uh, building a perch on the inside. Maybe a couple of different levels. A little nesting area. And of course we have our clean out on the bottom. Um, Alright guys, this is where we are so far. Like I said, we've done all this where it's broken open. I'm still going to work on the roof. We've done the stitching. 
this is where the bird is going to go in. Uh, sort of made all that on the inside while the camera was off. Uh, again, my camera won't stay on for some unknown reason. Um, I've got a little nesting area. Birds can hop up here. They can also nest up here. They can take the little stairs all the way to the venting. If they want to look out the venting, they can do that. That's what it looks like on that side. And then, of course, the back. <clears throat> so, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start here. We're going to work on the roof, and then we have to get the right, the right angle to start coming down here. So again, just follow along. Uh, you'll see how I put all that together. Uh, again, I'm having to turn my camera off in between, but um, but let me see if I can do a little bit of that with that with the camera. actually seeing where I forgot to put another piece on here so I think I need to address that now. done that now we can start on the roof we're going to let it overhang in front okay so before we put this piece on we're going to put this piece on guys welcome back to day two uh, I could have finished this in one day just to let you know but because for some reason my camera keeps heating up it keeps turning itself off I'm not able to shoot like the entire day and then edit it down I'm having to actually turn it off now because it's turning itself off so I'm literally turning it off so I can turn it back on when I need to but anyway so where we are right now is we're working on the roof uh, we're gonna put these next two on the roof and then we're gonna continue going down the side um, this is obviously the back of the birdhouse. Uh, I'm going to walk you through all the steps. Hopefully I've left all the steps in. And hopefully you were able to see all that. And again, let, let me remind you, um, at the end of the video, even when I show you my finished product, I'm going to include the ending to the video that I shot a couple of weeks ago because that's going to feature the other birdhouses. And you'll see that it, they're very creative. So hopefully I'll inspire somebody else out there to get just as creative. But anyway, just kind of follow along. Uh, notice that uh, as I'm building, I've been gluing everything, like every every seam in here, all the inside, the stairs, uh, all the different platforms, everything is nailed together and it's also glued together. So just, again, follow along and then just kind of watch how I do that. on this one I did an angle and I did an angle on the next one also so I could taper it in and I'll show you that okay, so I've cut uh, both the side pieces and both the front and the back so you know there's really no science to it we're just gonna put it on here you see it goes from end to end we're, just, we're not gonna let it overhang not to be too short I mean if you're building this I guess that's all common sense but I thought I would tell you so what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna put glue here this is the removable board 
This is permanent, permanent, and permanent. So this does not get glue. It doesn't even get close to getting glue. We're just going to be putting glue here, up here, across here. But, okay, so we're not even close to this board. Just determine what side looks better out. Out like that. Sorry about blocking the shot. And obviously, across there. Okay. So we're going to flip it over, do the same thing, and then we're going to cut the missing board here. Determine which side looks better out. Flip it onto its front. Put a little bit more right there in the front because this board has a little bit of a dip in it. Okay. So what we have to do now is we have to cut this little piece of trim for both sides. So actually it looks kind of even, so it shouldn't really be that hard. It's just a matter of measuring for that. Let me try to turn this thing sideways where you can see that. Okay, so look, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a piece of trim that you know we've already cut for here. It's the same size. And we're going to uh, simply mark it. We're just going to mark, okay? We're, we're always going to take off, uh, or not going to take off as much as what we think, because we can always trim it down again later. So um, I'm just going to rough estimate about right there. And I might even get this first one wrong, because it doesn't appear to have a taper. But if there is a taper and I end up short on one side, I'll just recut it and then I'll just kind of sand off the difference. But for right now, we're going to do about half that board. So let's just see what kind of luck we have on that. Okay, it's a pretty good fit. So still, I wish it went in a little bit further, but I'm going to hammer it in. But I want to put a little glue in there. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I have this right. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the birdhouse, hopefully where you can see it. I hope right there. That's upside down, but that's what we're going to do. And what I've done off camera uh, was I took a handle, which was a complete handle at the time, and I cut it in half to make it look like it was broken. So we're going to take part of it and we're going to mount it like on here, like this.
now we're going to give it a really good sanding. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to set this birdhouse up where you can take a look at it along with the other one that I built. Okay guys, so I finished the birdhouse, I sanded it down and everything, I'm going to show you that one along with another one that I built. And uh, after this ending, stay tuned for the alternate ending. Uh, the alternate ending is a bird birdhouse that I made uh, like two or three weeks ago on camera. Unfortunately, the video did not turn out, but the ending did. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put the other ending on there so you can see all the birdhouses and the shapes and designs that I'm using. But as for now, this is this is what we built on camera. Uh, you can see it looks pretty good. It looks like it's broken in half. I've got the handle on there. I've got the stitching, a little bit of trim. We made this one Texas themed. Um, it has the vent holes in the back. It has the clean out on the bottom. This is the other one that I made. It's the first time I've ever painted a birdhouse. I think it looks pretty good front and back. I don't know that I'll continue to paint. I happen to enjoy, you know, the cedar look, but that's that's what it looks like. And uh, they're very, very solid. Again, they're, they're brad nailed together. They're glued together. Uh, very strong, very sturdy. They definitely will withstand the weather outside. And um, I think they came out really good. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. And hopefully this summer, I'm gonna have many more videos. If I can solve the problem with my camera turning off from overheating, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I have a GoPro and I thought those things were designed to, you know, for hot temperatures, but you know, this is Texas sun. So maybe somebody has some advice for me. But anyway, you're always welcome to come out to my shop. Stay tuned for future videos and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot, guys. Please like and share. Thank you, goodbye. Okay, guys, so I've got everything cleaned up. I'm going to show you the birdhouse that we built today on camera as well as all the other birdhouses that I spent the past couple of weeks on. Again, they're really hard for me to do because I only get like an hour or two here and there. I work seven days a week. So anyway, let's take a look at them. Alright guys, so these are the ones that I started with. That was my very first one right there. Actually, I wish I didn't stain it, but you know, I did. And so that's, that's just how it came out. So aside from that one... I did this one right here. I tried to work with some silverware. As you can see, I used a fork on there. You see, I kind of bent it in the shape of a heart. It's kind of neat. All of these have the vent hole in the back, and they've got the drain clean out on the bottom. So, like, once a year, it's good to, you know, open them up, clean them out. Okay, this one right here is actually pretty cool. So, uh, you know, that I used a gas flex since I do tankless water heaters. We've got the, from the drain... So that one came out really neat. So these were a little bit more challenging. Okay, they're actually really big. They're over two feet tall. It might not look like it on camera, but so you see the one right here. That's the one. Uh, that's the one that we built today with the window on there. I've got the stitching, and of course that's the Batman one, Batman themed. And I actually used a um, a saw blade. I don't know if you can see that. That's a saw blade right there. Kind of neat. Very, very big. So that one's going to be more of a Texas theme. Actually, I also put a Texas on the one that we that we built today. I put a Texas on there. This one, I put a Texas like right in the middle for the birds just to go in. And this one, I don't know. I don't. I was just kind of getting into all the curvatures. So it was fun. But um, anyway, <laughs> I invite you to follow along. This should be of a summer of videos, hopefully. We'll just see how my time frame goes. But uh, follow along. Like I always tell you, if you do flea markets, if you do craft fairs, this is going to be the station for you. Please like, please subscribe. I'm always going to try to build something for nothing, and I'm always going to try to show you like my own twist on things. So I try to build things that you're not really going to find on the internet. So anyway, stay tuned. I appreciate you watching.